Ruby Volume 2 Episode 3, A Minor Hiccup. Definitely an interesting episode. We didn't get a ton of information. We got little bits and pieces of different storylines here and there. I think one of the coolest things is that we find out that Weiss actually has a sister, and her name is Wintershnee. I thought that was pretty cool. We don't get to see her, of course, and we don't get to see Weiss's father either, but we do get introduced to one of the new characters. We don't get her name or anything, but we get to see the woman who is involved in sort of the little clip we get to see during the opening when it's Penny and all the people, it's uh, James the headmaster, and all of the army people basically. She was one of the people, so we got to see her this episode, that was pretty cool. We got more of Neptune and Sun, that was a really funny scene when Sun mentioned how he always, he basically said he always watches them, and um, you know, Weiss caught him and he's like, you know, I climb trees all the time. So I thought that was a really cool scene. It was really funny. I love the cool alternate outfits in this episode. I don't know why they had that, but I really love them. It was cool to see that everyone got an alternate costume, and it wasn't just Yang, because they showed that in the trailer when she goes to the club, which I'm guessing will be either next week or the week after. They're going to have all the separate uh, groups have separate stories in each episode, so which should be really cool, especially when we get to see... Uh, the episode with Neptune in it because he's one of the new characters so that should be cool we'll get a lot of interesting info out of his character once we get that uh, episode and we get to see you know the storyline of that separate little team but it was definitely a cool episode it had its funny moments like I said in the beginning especially when Neptune when they were going through choosing the different teams and Neptune was being pushed by Ruby and he just went past Weiss and was just like and he like winked at her and then when she was trying to switch the teams up so that she could be with Neptune, he was just like, yeah, like he was smiling and pointing at her. It was really funny, and I like how they just already have that connection. And it was also interesting to see in the beginning of the episode that Jean is actually still interested in Weiss. I thought that was interesting based off of him calling her Ice Queen in the last episode. I figured he was just completely over her, but he's still trying and unfortunately failing, so he he'll finally get it this season I'm sure especially based on the trailer I think he's gonna get it when they have the um the banquet uh thing that they're gonna be doing later in the season he'll see Pira looking nice and stuff so hopefully you know it'll take time but hopefully he'll realize it in that episode but I enjoyed it we got to see uh what is ultimately gonna be something that becomes a part of the war which is the giant mech robot suit which eventually gets stolen by the white fang and that's based on the trailer as well and I'm curious to see how that comes about. I don't know if they steal it, if it involves someone working within the uh, military corporation that's a traitor and they actually help out the White Fang and they've been in there undercover the whole time or what. But we get to see the 3D image of it at least and we see the new robots that will be coming into play. And we get to see uh, two of the actual army guys. But it was pretty good. I enjoyed the ending. It was a cool little action chase. We got to see Ruby do a really hyper speed thing, which was really cool. And we got to see Penny uh, save Ruby after she was saved and she stops the truck. It was a cool little scene. And of course, we all knew Penny was a robot. That was fairly obvious. But it's going to be really interesting to see how Ruby takes that and how she either chooses to tell the rest of the team or chooses not to tell them in order to help Penny keep her secret. But I'm excited for where it's going to go. I uh, don't know if they're going to continue on from this episode next week. Like I said, they're, of course, going to do all the stories of every single separate team. So it might jump between each team, and it'll be like a cliffhanger here. And then it'll go back to, like, Ruby and Weiss being the first team and then go like that over and over until it's done. But I'm definitely curious to see where it goes and whether or not Penny decides to trust the rest of the team or if she forces Ruby to keep it a secret. But it was a good episode. We got some comedy moments. We got our team split up, we got the alternate costumes, which, like I said, I, I really like the alternate costumes, they look pretty cool, everyone had like a different style to it, that was, kept their same colors, but it was drastically different from the stuff they normally wear, especially Blake, I think hers was almost the opposite color, really, because everyone had on white, which I thought was interesting, um, Ruby had, like, it was sort of gray, but everyone sort of had like some bit of white in there i don't know the semblance of that or you know why it was changed that way but like i said i thought all the alternate costumes looked really cool um weiss hers was fairly simple i think it was just like almost the same thing just a jacket over it, and that's kind of what hers was but blake's was cool hers hers kind of looked like it was more martial arts style like it almost seemed like a gi for some reason like the top part at least it was because it was a jacket 
but that was cool. Yang's, and I mentioned this when I looked at the trailer, hers kind of makes me think of sort of a Mass Effect type of outfit. But seeing more of it, it doesn't, but it definitely looks cool. All their outfits look really sweet in this episode. And I'm definitely excited to see the other teams, especially with Neptune, as well as Sun, because I love Sun as a character. I want to see him fight again. And I want to see Neptune, because I know he was in the trailer. He's in like a crazy motorcycle chase, which may or may not be in an upcoming episode, or it could be much later in the season but definitely a good episode a nice third one um didn't really get to see too many of the characters in this one but i think we got a lot of that in the last episode we pretty much got to see everybody for the most part we got the old teacher back in this one so that was good him telling yet another crazy war story that he had that he survived but overall i think it was a pretty good episode excited for next week excited for the rest of these teams and i really want to see yang go back to the club because i want to see her fight the uh, two twins again I'd love to see that because that was a really cool fight in her trailer and I just want to see her go up against them with a partner that would be cool too and they get kind of ganged up on and they have to fight their way out of it so that would be sweet. Of course comment below let me know what you guys thought of this episode, your favorite parts, your least favorite parts and with all the teams I'm guessing of course having their own separate episodes which team do you guys want to see in the next episode? Which team are you most excited to really learn more about? If I had to pick one as much as I'm excited for Yang, uh, I definitely want to see Neptune more than anything. And I, of course, I, I believe uh, Neptune is with Blake, but I could be wrong. And he could be with Yang, but I can't really remember. But I want to, whoever is with Neptune, that's who I want to see. Because either way, that's going to be great. And if it is Neptune and Yang, that's going to be a hilarious episode. Because they both have a very similar personality, and you can tell that. So that's what I'm most excited for. And even if, like I said, even if they're not the same team... Whichever team has Neptune on it, I want to learn more about him because he's the only one we've got. And that might be a great way for them to segue into the two other characters who are going to be on Sun's team. So I'm excited for that and excited for the rest of these episodes too, of course. But comment below all your opinions on that and thanks for watching.